Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and uh, thanks for joining me. I'm joined with Brian McClymans, a good friend of mine in the industry, is the Vice President of Sales of North America and APAC for Peerless AV. Uh, Brian, I want to first off congratulate you on an amazing show, and but specifically, you really hit the sweet spot in the last six months with a product called the STS650, and that's what I want to talk about today, because that product not only won a Reader's Choice Award, but was very popular at the show. You're doing something unique with this mount. Yeah, so we've been listening to a lot of our consultants and AV integrators and the need to put components behind the displays, whether it's in the conference room or in a hallway or such. So rather than using racks behind, you know, in, in, in rooms and running cables to them, they want to put as many components directly behind each display as possible. Yeah, and I like that. I, you can see this in the image that we're showing right now, is it how you can uh, mount stuff behind the monitor nicely rather than using just zip ties. I mean, that's pretty what people have been doing is zip tying cables back there, Velcroing and uh, and using double sticky tape and mounting it to the plastic of the monitor. You've actually provided a cage back there. And, and let's be honest, what, what people are doing is in a lot of applications, we don't need racks in the room, but we still have to have a receiver, right? We have a media player uh, for a signage application. We have receivers. We may even have audio amplifiers. We may have a DSP in there as well. And uh, ultimately, the sort of home run location can be wherever you want it to be. And you're saying, since you're mounting a monitor on the wall, why not use that? Right. And it also takes away the need to have a roll a truck. Instead of yeah. having two or three people come out and take down an 85-inch display, one person that's part of the computer department at a end user can actually pop out and pull out the uh, display, get behind there if they need to add a cable or remove a cable whether it's they're putting in a new video conferencing device, new soundbar uh, behind the display, they can do that themselves uh, without having to have a truck rolled and take it down, which takes time and money. And you might have to have a lift depending on the weight of the display. Yeah. And if you look at the rooms that we're showing here, it means that the room can just be the stuff that you use in the room and you don't have to worry about having like a home run location or any other equipment in the room. It um, So you said, you said that, Obviously, one of the reasons you you won the award and the Reader's Choice Awards are really special, by the way, because we don't nominate the products. We literally send out open nominations to the industry. We, we then take the top four or five products in each category that win nominations. And then we have those same people vote on those products. Um, so we don't take nominations from the manufacturers. We don't take fees for those nominations or for the awards. Um, basically, it's just the industry which means that the people that are actually using it are the one that are voting on it. And you started out by saying that you listen to your integrators. Tell me what that meant, because were, were you starting to see a trend where people were saying, hey, is there a way we can do this? Or were people not liking the Velcro way? Or what was the impetus for it? Yeah, it really came about, uh, it's been going on for a few years. We've been hearing a lot more and more as you know, co component shortages and hardware shortages happened after COVID, you know, as, as we came out of it. We started hearing more and more about people wanting to put smaller devices behind each display so our product managers started uh interviewing some of our consultants some that we did specify the product as well as the integrators that are installing them and they started developing this over the past year and what they put together is pretty impressive there's a lot that goes into this when they come up with these these uh new products not only does it pop out you can actually set it because one of the things that we learned was many times people are replacing a display that was in there maybe it's an old plasma display that was much deeper they're actually putting a thinner display into there now maybe it's a bigger display but they want to be able to recess it and if say it's built into a bookcase this mount has the ability to scissor out and stop wherever they need it to okay. so now you can flush mount the front of the display to the bookcase oh i didn't i didn't realize that so so the idea is that this product would 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 suffice for a retrofit as well, where you're as you're upgrading, you'd keep the same mount and just change the display depending on what you wanted in the future. Right. It's perfect for new installs as well as retro installs as well. And how far does it pull out? Does it pull out it far enough that you can actually service something? Twelve. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. Inches, so it's enough that you should be able to get behind there and uh, you know get in and undo a cable 
So you should have 12 inches of access. You can't get directly behind it, but you can get below it or around the sides of it. Yeah, we're showing, you can see a recess box here in this look, in this shot here. So you can see how that would work with a recess box. Does it, does it still have all the same adjustments? Are you giving anything up from the standpoint of this mount's capabilities to make a, a, a monitor level or, or a yaw pitch or any of that kind of stuff? Sorry. No, we're not giving up anything. We've actually kept the Incrolock tilt so you can actually tilt this. If it is up high, you can tilt, tilt it down and you can lock it into place. Uh, you can pop it back. It has uh, some some adjustment points you can even decide you know just pulling a different uh string below the display you can quickly remove the full display if you need to or you can just pop it out and release it so you can set it in there it's a great piece that uh, installers can kind of lock it in place so the end user doesn't know that it has access but they can come in there and they can actually do it if they want to it, it really does have a lot of technology in a simple mount solution uh, you specify then, this for 39 to 85 inches, but really is it more based on weight? Because like at Infocom, I saw 98 inch, 105, and I don't know if you saw LG at 110. Can it accommodate a monitor like that? Is it just based on weight or is there actually a physical size? Yeah, everybody's, so traditionally in mounts, everybody's like, what size display can it fit? And uh -huh. it used to be that it was a screen range. Now it's about weight capacity. Yeah. We put a range, but then we say plus because it does have a 200 pound load capacity. So okay. as long as the display, and we test them yeah. at four times mm -hmm. that. So it's okay. peerless. We make sure everything's UL listed uh, and supports the- Well, the you're gonna have that 110 inch installed. I mean, that monitor was really impressive. It's an interesting concept because it's a direct replacement for four 55 inch monitors, right? I mean, like you could take a monitor wall that exists and put in one LCD in there. I mean, super expensive. You know, you're obviously trading off a lot. And of course, if you've got four 55 inches, theoretically sounds good, but you also have four 55 inch mounts already sitting there. So probably most people are just going to put four 45, uh, 55 inch monitor. But, but you're saying that this thing could handle that weight wise as long as it wasn't beyond 500 pounds. Uh, it's 200 pounds. And then the uh, uh, Visa mounting hole pattern can go up to 600 by 600. Okay. Yeah. And I saw you have a bunch of accessories for mounting things below and above it as well. If you want to have a uh, if you want to have a camera, you want to have a, a, a PlayStation or a, even a, even a, uh, you wanted to use it to, for mounting a media player or something like that. You have the ability to mount it below it, above it, or even behind it. That was uh, in addition, you have bo wall boxes and everything. So it's really kind of cool. I really like the component mount uh, mesh. I'm not sure exactly what you're calling that, but I like yeah, that it's design. A, it's a component rack. And basically we learned that from our integrators. They used to do integration of racks in the system and then bring them fully yeah. loaded. Now they're saying, yeah. well, the components are much smaller. You know, let's go install the mount ahead of time, but then take the little accessory bracket to go onto that. And it just clips on. They can they can put pre-wire all of their components onto those little component shelves and then come in and hang them behind uh, with the mount already installed. Yeah, I really like it. Well, I put a link directly into the description of this so you can see that product. You'll see why it won the Reader's Choice Award. Um, I think it does matter. I think what, what you're talking about does matter when you're talking to the people that are actually using the product. Uh, it matters because if, if they feel like they're part of the design of the product, they're going to want to use it. But in addition, they're going to feel good about the fact that they got a better product out of it. Um, so I, I applaud you guys for doing that, your whole team. Uh, of course, everyone knows how to get in touch with uh, Peerless. You can go to peerless-av.com. The product is the STS650. Brian, I really appreciate it. And again, and congratulations. We shot, I don't know, probably seven or eight videos at Infocom, including I did a one-on-one -on -one interview with Brian about sort of like the position in the industry, what's going on, what, what he thought the future of the industry was. You can see all that at raypubs.com slash Infocom. Type in Peerless in the video search window. You can find all the videos we shot at Infocom as well. Brian, I really appreciate you joining me today. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day.